this version that the end. <laughs> Say it, man! <laughs> Welcome to sunny Spain. Welcome to Mr. Paul Wallace Supercars of London. Oh, I thought you said Z4. Oh, well, no, so we'll, we'll get to that in a sec. But the new Z4, mate, thank you. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. It's great to kind of do something together with you, but also it's great to get an opportunity to drive the Z4. I know. You've never driven one either, have you? No, I haven't. So this is literally the first time for both of us to drive this car, and BMW have picked an amazing location. I think we've lucked out with the weather too. We have. I mean, it's literally clear sun, clear everything, and the roads here around Ronda are spectacular. And, mate, I'm excited to drive this. I'm so excited to start hitting some of that tarmac it's going to be good and i mean spec wise of that car i mean it's we both... bang on i'm in the way of it so i should probably stand there i mean what do you reckon from a color perspective it's it's bang on it's isn't satin it satin gray with those wheels it's a and winner isn't yeah. it yeah and there's no chrome on the car as well which i'm a big fan of. yeah that is where we are heading mm. open roads me and paul let's have a good time you ready let's, roll. let's do this <laughs> It's so good. It is. I've basically chauffeured you here on some amazing roads and we're about to hit some more amazing roads. Both of our first times in Z4s. Too. Yeah, literally we're both Z4 virgins and what a Z4 to be drive to be driving for the first time. But I mean this car base price £49,000 get you a base entry kind of level Z4 uh, which you get a lot of car for the money. Uh, this specific car we said was, what's that Paul, 53? 53, so a 10% increase in price for auctions. For a lot of it, I mean you talk about things like BMW LED, virtual cockpit, the new BMW iDrive Operating 7 comes in all these cars as standard and actually they've got this fancy technology as well where you kind of talk to it and it does stuff. Uh, we'll do that a bit later on when we pull up. I want to try that yeah. because in previous cars it hasn't worked so well. Yeah, well, they, they say that it's a kind of it learns. So if you've got a really thick accent, for example, it will learn the accent. It, it, hopefully, yeah. I find the BMW are getting very intelligent. <laughs> well, the cars are getting very intelligent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, mate, but I mean, obviously, the new Z4 is 50/50 weight distribution, which means corners like this are just delicious. Literally, you just feel that balance. It's oh, it's just amazing. You just sweep it through. So guys, I've magically transformed the person in my passenger seat from Paul Wallace to Mr. Rory Reed. Hello mate. How you doing mate? I'm good mate. Great to have you on the channel. Mate, it's been a long time coming but I know. I'm enjoying it. It's good. Good to I'm, be here. Man. Yeah man, we've done quite a few press trips together and it's just good to get finally get you on camera with me. Yeah. Can I just say as well, this guy's edits are on point. He does the ting. <laughs> He's proper. I enjoy watching your stuff. Thank you mate. I appreciate that. Yeah. Genuinely I do. Thank you. So mate, we find ourselves in the BMW ZM40, Z4 M40i. Yeah. So a couple of variants of this car BMW have released here out in Spain, one of which being the kind of the two litre version, but we've gone straight for the jugular. We've Absolutely. gone straight for the 40. Big daddy. And from a, an initial perspective. It's got some pull. It's got some pull. It's got some pull. So 340 horsepower in this bad boy. Three litre six cylinder engine. The B58 engine that you find the BMW M140i, mate, 
chuck that together with a roof down road style here in Spain, I think we've got a winning package. Absolutely, smiles galore in this thing. And it's quick, like I said, um, 0 to 60, I think is 4.6 seconds. Yeah, yeah. So in a straight line, it takes off. And also you got this like beautiful option of having the roof down and soaking up the sunshine. We're out here in, uh, in, in sunny Marbella. So it's a nice package, man. It's yeah. enjoyable. And the other thing as well, is, uh, what, what the, one of the things that really kind of intrigued me about this car is that the BMW press guys last night said to us that this car laps the Nürburgring quicker than a standard M2. Which is mad. It's crazy, isn't it? It's mad because you always think about a Z4 as being, I don't know, maybe a bit of a hairdresser's car, like yeah. a poser's car, certainly, yeah. you know? And to have it, I mean, they said that dynamically, the M2 was the target mm. for this car. So to have actually surpassed that and be able to lap the Nürburgring in under eight minutes and be quicker than an M2, I mean, they've done a hell of a job. A few tweaks with it. I think it's a bit wider than before. Yeah. But they've shortened the wheelbase by about 20, milli 20, 20 millimeters. Yeah. So I think that's designed to kind of aid agility. It's a bit wider, so you get a little bit more, a bit more grip through the corners. Yeah. Um, so in terms of handling, it's a proper sports car. Yeah. It is. And I think they've, they've kind of made the Z4 a bit more, a bit more of an adult. Like it feels a lot more kind of muscular. It's got a much more aggressive look as well. It does. Really, really sharp lines as well on this car. Do you not think it looks a bit like a, a slightly angry Fiat 124? Yeah, I'm going to say yes, because I like that car. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Not to say that the 124 isn't too angry, but no, generally does. It has, it's got a really aggressive kind of look to it. And of course, with this version, the, um, the M3, the M, with this version, the ZM, this version, the, the <laughs> say it, man. <laughs> With this version, the Z4 M4 Ti, particularly as well, you've got the really kind of big, aggressive tits, which you don't get on any other on the other models. Did you say big, aggressive tits? Tips of oh, the exhaust right. tips. Oh, sorry, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we could go down that route if you want, man. <laughs> the wonders of YouTube. You can say what you like. when you play around with these kind of cars, you can easily get into around 430 with a DK and a stage two tune. It's just, it's mind boggling. It's my, my type of car, this is you, This is you all over, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exclusive port. Not that, it's, not that it sounds bad, like we were talking about how for a stock car, yeah. the way that this thing revs out and the burbles on the overrun are totally different to quite a lot of new cars that yeah. are coming out. And I yeah. really like that BMW have implemented that element of fun into yeah. a fun car yeah because this isn't supposed to be like a serious no track car absolutely and, and i think even more so the fact that they've implemented those, those lovely little pops on override for us now with the roof down it enhances the noise even more yeah which is just brilliant yeah and the thing is as well if you think about you know you're going to buy one of these cars in the uk yes there's a question whether or not you'll be able to enjoy it like paul and i are today for only more than a week in a year <laughs> although climate change looks like we're getting better summers yeah. and colder winters <laughs> but the roof 10 seconds will do <laughs> fold it down literally bang on 10 seconds it is so fast and you can do it up to 31 miles an hour go for it so we're moving right now here it comes four five six seven eight nine ten that's quick yeah that's really good that's exactly what you need in the uk yeah. when the weather is so changeable yeah exactly yeah right. i mean on a journey to work about you might have the roof up and down three or four times <laughs> <laughs> now look, look at that yeah and off you go Running the eight-speed ZF gearbox, yeah, which is a fantastic box, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's a great package overall. It's nice. They didn't really need to go down the route of having a dual clutch transmission. Um, you, I mean, a, a manual would have been nice, but at the same time, the eight-speed ZF is such a good box that yeah. you don't really need it to. You're banging through the gears up and down; it's kind of responding. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice little car. Interestingly, I don't think this car would have existed without Toyota. Right, so they kind of co-developed. They yeah. had a partnership going on where Toyota wanted to create another Supra, but didn't necessarily um, have the ability to justify it financially. Yeah. And BMW wanted to make another Roadster, but again, couldn't justify that financially. So they worked together and created a base package that they could then go in different directions. And BMW came, with the, came up with the Roadster and Toyota went down the line of a, a, a proper sports car. Um, here he goes. So even though both cars are quite similar, they have different personalities, I think. 
the steering wheel of this car is beautiful. It's, it's very chunky, it's very kind of thick and it's nice. It's a nice feel to it as well. From a, it's, it's quite direct, I'm wallowing this guy around the room. It's quite direct as well. You can kind of point it into a corner, the nose turns in, you can kind of power out nice and easily, which is fantastic. Echo off the rocks too. Brilliant noise. But again, you know, we talk about things like the virtual cockpit being standard in all of the new BMW range. I drive 7 being standard. These glorious seats. I mean, how comfortable are these seats? Comfortable and warm because I've got the heated seat on. Yeah, it's a must. <laughs> yeah. Open top drive. Yeah. <laughs> actually gone the extra mile as well by actually designing um, this new voice assistant uh, yeah. hey, hey BMW right yeah um, you've got hey Mercedes now you're always listening <laughs> so you say hey hey BMW and there's a whole list of commands I've got a little sheet in the car yeah. so you can say um, hey BMW I'm stressed and the car will I think it will play relaxing music yeah and also the heated seats can be adjusted through the voice yeah you can say hey BMW uh, take me home and it'll if you've programmed in your home it'll actually navigate there for you yeah there's a lot of actually really cool technologies they've built into it so hi BMW I'm bored I can't imagine that maybe you haven't yet had the chance to try sport mode <laughs> <laughs> hi BMW I'm cold which temperature shall I set 30 I set the temperature. And that did it. Oh, it's gone to high. Well, now this is clever. There you go. You saw so, it figure it out. Yeah. Top, yeah. No, no, but, but have you noticed as well how it's only done my side yeah. and it's not done Paul's side? Yes, because it is a microphone there that's stronger. So if, so if you did it now, Paul okay. spoke, it would go to his side. Hi, BMW. I'm hot. Which temperature shall I set? Five degrees. I set the temperature. It goes to low. There you go. And it's come on. That's really clever, isn't it? And it's cold. That is really clever. <laughs> but what about these seats, mate? What do you think? Do you know what? So, in a lot of cars, they just, they like, for example, if a, a company created uh, a convertible car, they'd take the seats out of a saloon mm. that they have in their parts bin and just plonk those in. But BMW have made specific seats for this car. Yeah. And I think they look fantastic. First of all, the looks, they've got yeah. this really nice pattern on the leather. Yeah. Um, they're comfortable um, and also they're really like well bolstered so they'll keep you in, in the seat when you're going around corners. Yeah. I, I mean, I like them. Oh, mate, this is a <laughs> When you get the revs right on a downshift, you can get like quite big ones. At 50,000 pounds, your weight over your shoulders in terms of responsibility of, oh, what if I hit a wing mirror here, yeah. what if I get a stone chip there, yeah. are that much more diminished in comparison to, let's say, we're driving a Ferrari 488 around here. Yeah. You'd be scared of putting the power down and yeah. going through that yeah. wooden, wooden barrier there. Yeah. It's super safe. <laughs> and probably having more fun because we're just like, well, hey, whatever. It is, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's Mainly because it's not a car. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I think the fact that it's a press car as well kind of eliminates that worry of, oh, I'm going to damage my car. Yeah. But, but I think regardless whether it was a press car or not, because it's so it's a usable car, usable power, relatively for the money, you get a lot of car for the money. Yes. I approve. We like that. The exhaust expert over here approves. Yeah. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> <laughs> Alright mate, you're up. Alright, so traction off. No, just kidding. <laughs> Can I just point out how low you flipping sit in these cars? <laughs> like you've just got a thing for being low to the floor, haven't you? I really like it. <laughs> you know, you've got to have a low centre of gravity in a sports car to feel connected with the road, you know? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a good point because the, um, the Z4, because they got rid of the metal roof, yeah. um, the centre of gravity is now lower because you don't have all that mass up high above you, yeah. it's actually uh, a, a much lower center of gravity, so in theory, the car should handle a lot better. Yeah. And it, I mean, it does. I can feel the difference. I've, I've driven the, uh, the previous generation, yeah. and immediately, yeah, there's, this feels more like a sports car than the previous set for. You know what? I might be being greedy. 
here, but I, I want more power straight away. Really? I, I, you know, like the engine in the M2 competition, for yeah, example, yeah, that yeah. would go down a tree in this. Well, you're in luck because for that very small niche of people who would buy a Z4 <laughs> with the B58, yeah. DCAT tune, 430 horsepower. Really? Yeah. Sick. It's that good of an engine. I mean, no one's going to do it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have the option. Exactly. Or well, you'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I think what we do, mate, I think we try and see what it's like on a zero to 60. Yeah. It has a launch. Um. It's quick, isn't it? It's cool. Like when you let yeah. off the throttle and yeah. like... Well, I did feel it bogged down just a touch. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether that was just me, but... No, 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 this car shifts. Yeah. Even though it's a great little car, yeah. I, I still think that they have a slight image problem with these roasters. That, in the sense that, there's that old, old cliche of the hairdresser's car. Yeah, isn't it? it's kind of similar to what Audi are battling with with the TT. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And what about the looks? Where, 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 where do you stand I'm, on the design? So I like it. I like I like the looks. I, I like the new kind of the bonnet where it kind of indents in as well. I think that's a nice addition to it. Yeah. I think I, for me personally, I like the rear more than the front. Really? I think the rear looks quite aggressive. I, I, I like the headlights, I'm just not so sure they just fit well on this car, personally. But if I, you know, take that part aside, I think overall, I think it looks really nice. I think it's very sporty looking, great styling. When you take into account in exterior and interior design, yeah. combine them both as a package, I think it's a, it's a very nice car. It's definitely higher end. Yeah, I'm, I'm still on the fence, I'll be honest. I mean, I'm not 100% convinced. Uh, I think it's very color dependent. So the white car that I was in this morning is it polar white? I don't know yeah, what you call yeah. It. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't like that color in this car. Yeah. But this grey, this matte grey, looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. They do um, in, on the first editions a slightly mm. orange, orangey. Yeah, it's like a orange. sunset orange, isn't it? She's a gorgeous That's color. Beautiful. And I, you know, I can get on board with that. But there's a few colors that are the blue is nice as well. Yeah, the Misano blue. Yeah, but certainly the white car for me doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't take. It doesn't take my uh, my box really. Yeah. But but you know, in the right color, in the right spec. I think it needs bigger wheels. It's There's, already on 19, isn't it? It's, it's on 19, yeah. but I'd, I'd go, I'd go 20, 20. I'd go 22. 20, 22's <laughs> on a 30 profile tire. Yeah. <laughs> it's Rory Reed all over. <laughs> yeah, it allows for me to take corners like a complete hooligan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of unfazed. Yeah. For a rear wheel drive car, I mean, look. Yeah. Wow. It's good, probably the good only brakes too. BMW that I've been in that doesn't want to oversteer and kill you every time you power out of a corner. Yeah. <laughs> that traction is fighting, isn't it? <laughs> it does have a lot of grip. It's on a Michelin Pilot Super Sports. Yeah. It hangs in there, this car. Yeah. <sighs> Do you know what? It's fun. <laughs> 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 you just saw those S bends, <laughs> but look, look how great it took yeah, those yeah, as well. Yeah. You know that 50-50 balance as well. It's so just, good. So you kind of you just point the nose in and it goes. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Really? And you feel safe in it the whole time, you know. Yeah. Um, you drive these American muscle cars, like in particular the Mustang, and you know you did donuts back then. Oh, completely. <laughs> yeah, you'd be in a circle all over, but this thing it holds its own. It's um, it's really well balanced. It's a nice car. It kind of flows with the road. It's yeah. really cool. A genuine I am from a. First experience. Mate, it just hugs the road. Yeah. No, no, no. It sticks and grips and goes. I like that. Sticks, grips, and goes. Yeah. It's so fast. It's so fast. Wow. I don't feel like I'm squashed in here. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Actually, yeah. In a lot of cars, like two reasonably big blokes. Yeah. Um, in a in a in a roadster. You'd kind of have the, uh, the the issue of, of, of space to deal with because we'd be like up against yeah. each other. But I'm, I feel like I'm nowhere near you. Yeah, and that's exactly. a good thing. No offense. Yeah, know? it's all right. Man. <laughs> Although people outside see us both driving this convertible together, they might probably think it otherwise. But <laughs> but you are right. You do, you know there is a genuine sense of space in here, which is fantastic. Right, mate. Thank you so much for being on. No, man, my pleasure. Legend, mate. We'll do some more stuff together soon. I'm sure there'll be a few other pressures that will. Our past would align. Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, Rory, you're you're, you're looking at starting a, a YouTube channel soon, right? Yeah, maybe. You know, watch this space. I see you guys. You know, creating content, and I uh, I go out on on the same 
you know, the same number of launches as you. So yeah. I kind of, I'm thinking maybe I should dip my feet into it. Yeah, I think so. Let me know in the comments below if you think Rory should start a YouTube channel. And if he eventually does pull his finger out and do that, I will link his channel in the description of this video <laughs> so you can all go and subscribe to him. Cheers, man. Of course, make sure you follow Rory on Instagram. Links will be in the description as well at Mr. Rory Reed. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, of course, if you don't know Paul, I think you've been living under a rock, but I'll leave a link to Paul's <laughs> channel in the description below. Make sure to go and sub to Paul. Thanks for being in the video, buddy, as well. No, thank you for having me. Thank you for driving me. No, you're very it's welcome. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> but anyway, guys, my name's been Steph. You guys, of course, have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.